This is my first time in Europe and we're in Rome. Rome is supposedly the most visited city in Italy and it's filled with monuments and statues and the Colosseum which is the most iconic thing I think in Rome. So today we're gonna spend the whole day visiting and exploring. Ideally my vacations are usually surrounded by the beach. It's not usually exploring the city and the history of cities because that's not necessarily what I love to do but today because we're in Rome that's what we're about to do. This what one? Yeah. $28. Um, yeah. Oh, how long was that? What? To get to the train? Yeah. Like five minutes? Quick five minutes walk from the airport to the train. Mm -hmm. Save your money. Don't get taxi. <laughs> the train ride from Rome Airport to Rome Termini, which is the train station in Rome, was about 30 minutes. And then we had a five minute, five to seven minute walk from the train station to the hotel that we were staying. This is a very small elevator. But it can fit one person and a bag. We just got to the hotel and we can't check in yet. So we're gonna try to find some food. Burn some time until two, then we come back, change, get ready for the day. Okay. It is good. It's good? I don't know what it is though. But it is good. Yours? Yours is like potatoes. When we were looking for places to stay in Italy, we couldn't find any videos of any of the places that were. This hotel is called Hotel Mark Antonio Rome. It's a nice little hotel, you know? As you can see, very small. I'm gonna give you an idea of how big the hotel room is. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five steps wide or long, five steps long. And one, two, three, four. Four steps wide. We bought a room city bus tour, so that's what we're waiting on right now. Look, and nobody's on this bus. And this is how we're gonna learn about the history of this place. Yep. This is why I don't the history because this place that we're going to know, the Colosseum, they had slaves fighting in there and killing each other. And now we're gonna view it as if it's cool. Slaves, gladiators, prisoners, separated by social class. See, I'm learning my history. I'm learning something new. Good or bad. <laughs> I think the Coliseum and the Trevi Fountain for me are the biggest one, so. The Colosseum is over 1,900 years old. It's the second great wonders of the world that we've seen so far. We've seen Christ the Redeemer in Brazil. Well, and now we're seeing the Colosseum in Italy. Approximately 400,000 people have died in the Colosseum. Rome is hot, it's a lot warmer than we thought it would have been, right? Well, Which is good. This great monument is the largest monument in Rome and it is to honor the first king of Italy. The monument is approximately 250 feet high and 450 feet wide. It is located in the city square, dead center of Rome. This is the first city we've seen with so many monuments. The monuments Beautiful. are, you can't deny it. So rich in history and architecture. My mom would love it here. Jet lag. We're racing the sun. We're trying to get the Trivi Fountain as fast as possible. But are we gonna make it? The sun is almost already gone. Yep. This is one of the main stops that we needed to do, but 
we're gonna go either way. Yeah. It might it's be better. Be it might be better yeah. after. It's gonna be pretty in the night. Yeah, exactly. Little. Let's hope it's pretty in the light, but we're right in there. Cherry Fountain is known as one of the most stunning fountains in the world. The fountain generates approximately $1.5 million a year from tourists throwing money into the fountain. The craziest thing just happened to me. The drone took off, see? The drone took off, I'm flying. I went down one of those small roads because I didn't want like, the police to see me or uh, a lot of people walking around because I'm a visitor now. So I went down one of those small roads, you see me? Put the, the drone up in the air, but you know the small ones, the, the buildings are close. Put the drone up in the air, it went high enough, but I was losing signal. I was losing signal to the drone from the remote. And all of a sudden the drone just started going left. Left, left, left. It cleared the building to drop down on the floor, but hit the roof. My drone crashed on the, on the roof. Day number two. We're traveling from Rome to Positano today. 745 here. <laughs> I really wanted drone shots off from, from yesterday, but um, weren't able to get any, so I'm gonna try and see if we can get some now before we leave Rome. I need it, I really need it. It's too pretty beautiful here not to fly the drone. So let's make it happen. I paid about $600 for this drone. I cannot afford to lose it. I bought it when we created this YouTube channel in order to capture these beautiful moments. And I know that we're in Rome and heading to Positano where it's the most beautiful, most drone worthy place to be and need to have this drone. While in Positano, we're gonna be out on a boat which is gonna be very beautiful. So I really need this drone to make it there. My drone crashed on the, on the roof. I'm looking at the time, I'm like, I don't have much time to recover the drone because we have to go at 8.30. That's not good. My drone crashed on the roof. So I run to a man to the store, I'm like, how can I get up on this roof? Morning. Um, so, is there any way to get on the roof of this building? A drone, a drone crashed on the roof. Uh, I have no idea. The, because this is the building for the fire service. Fire service? Oh. And he's like, I don't know. Go around the side and see if you can figure out how you can get on the roof. At the one entrance, you just ask if you see anybody. Right, left? Just the one right. entrance. Okay, thank you. My drone crashed on the roof. I have like 20 minutes. I don't know why it kept moving. So I was walking around there, apparently it's like a fire station or something. I saw some guys, asked them how to get on the roof, they don't speak English. So I was flying my drone and it crashed on the roof. No English? Okay, thank you. So the guy came out of the car, I showed him the drone, I tried to show like, you know, tried to show him like what happened, drone, crash, boom, roof. <laughs> no, no English? No. So, drone, crash, on the roof, on the roof, yeah the drone, crashed. On the roof. Thank you. He's like, I don't know, can't understand. So he took out his phone, tried to Google Translate it. Okay. While he's doing that, trying to translate, type in what he's getting. Allora, dall'altro lato, ok, ok, di fronte, ok, six, numero 6, six, ok, sarebbe 6, uh -huh. ci sta la police, police, 
permesso okay. poi di fronte di qua ok leggi e vai su ok you understand yeah so go around try to go on the sixth floor tell them to go on the roof allora aspetta vediamo se riusciamo a fare così I tried to get back on the drone. The drone is still crashed up there. But then I saw an option, take off. So I hit take off. He said the propellers can't spin. And then all of a sudden... Oh wait, he got up, he got up, he got up. Okay, he got up. He got back up. He just got up. I don't know how it got up. I wonder if somebody saw it on the roof and put it back where it can get up or something, but... He just got up again. I swear I lost the drone. All of a sudden the drone got up. I was I was like shaking, I was like Where is it? Where is it? It was on the roof, but it just got back up. A pause. Yeah, it got back up, so it's in the air. Hey, pero that's cool. Alright, let's see, see. Okay, okay. You see? Pero ledge will get set up one. Let me see. You have to go to the police at six, get the pass, then pass. Thank you. Questo qua è ministero. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Yo, I've never, I don't know how that happened, but, but the drone crashed and then for some reason it just connected back to my phone and just took off again. I think so it was did it get hurt? Did it scratch up? I don't know. I didn't even look on it. It went back up into the air and I started flying it like normal and I'm like, you know what? Let me just bring it back. So you didn't go to so the Yo, I don't know how this drone got back. I'm bringing it home because I can't afford to crush it. It's back. Original, smoking on me, high grade, sipping on me liquor. Girls, them I come, them I want, them I take up. Man, me I come in, me I wanna take her. Girls, them I come, them I want in on the liquor. I steady sipping on my liquor. Then I tell her, me she give and never trust another nigga. I say so she give me on the liquor. Yo, that's a crazy story. Jay, not joking. So basically, we got up early. We had a plan to leave out of Rome early so that we can catch a train to Poli. Didn't go as planned, but that's okay because there is a next train that's coming at 9:30 that actually gets us there faster. So, here we are. Excuse me, sir. This train, where do I catch this train? Downstairs. Downstairs? Where do I buy the tickets? There is the ticket off. Downstairs. Okay. Thank you. So, we missed our second train. Go, 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 go. Excuse me. Which one, which one is? Uh, we are also looking for this one. Okay, you're looking for it too? Oh, yes. okay, okay. But I'm not sure from which uh, you know, platform, platform yeah, yeah, yeah. this train is going to Sorrento. Okay. okay. Look, you, you stay with the bag. Okay, he's going to check you. Oh, you're going to check? Okay, thank you. for trains and get into trains on time but we'll get there eventually um, and explore Pusita a little bit before the welcome dinner that we're excited for yeah, Yeah. <laughs> 
quick 25 minute bus ride from Surin to the hotel. It's perfect. <laughs> I wish you guys could see the view of the party bus as we drive along. I know, the bus is blocking. The bus, is, the bus has a tint on it that's blocking us from recording. Why would they have these circle things? So stupid. Give me that one. Oh, whoa, an enemy guy rolling. So them do it. <laughs> Everyone else so them do it, so. How do we get back up? Right up. We just we missed our stop. Right? Yeah, no, no. Chivo Novo. Chiv. Oh. Hello, Samia. Maybe we should try and get a, a cab with you guys. Jesus. Awesome, Paul. Well, mine is seven minutes, so it's not too bad either. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Even when I told him, like, I'm getting off here, it just stopped. Yeah. Right. I was in the middle of the road. I know. And then he was like, <laughs> I right, you right, you this is, like, he was just like, see ya. Okay. I just, I don't understand another part of our adventure. At least this is fun, you know? This is a fun way of uh, experiencing Italy and getting to our destination. We didn't realize that it was our stop. He didn't, like, say the stop either. I don't know. Anyways, we missed our stop. At least it was only one. Nine stops, and they didn't do any other stops. Yeah. It was just driving. Right. But anyways, this is a nice, pretty walk up the hill. Jay is pushing our luggage, but luckily it's only a seven-minute walk for, to our hotel. You guys can see me. This, these guys behind us helped because we didn't know that we should get off. So luckily they got off because we just jumped off with them. All right. Jesus. Oh, hell. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see how these buses get around this corner. What time is it? Woke up at 6 a.m. and got there at 2. We did everything to avoid this. It's right here, all right? Bedroom apartment. Mm -hmm. We have a balcony. Oh, wow. Nice. Can definitely fly the drone from here. Interesting. Very nice. Very nice, bitch. Oh, I wish the trees weren't blocking. I know. If we were on, maybe. Hey, look at this. All right. Oh, we have two balconies. Mm -hmm. That's. Wait, did I get a presidential suite or something? I don't know. Because. Wow, this is so pretty. Those are two balconies right here. Yeah. And right here. It's really nice. Babe, look, they have a soccer court. Yeah, I know. I saw it. And the pool? Pool's right nice. Where is it? Is that the pool? I think so. Yeah. It's very nice. Yeah. This is really nice. Look, you can even have somebody sleep over. There's two beds that pull out. It's 
5.45. We have to meet the shuttle at 6.10, 6.50, and I'm gonna see if we're really going to make the shuttle miss us now. Yet again, I don't know if we're gonna make it. 5.55, 20 minutes. Are oh, we good? We're good. It's a 17 minute walk. I don't know how they expect us to navigate this place, bro. Walking directions is telling us to go here. Yeah. Trying to figure this out. But no, room for error. <laughs> yeah, we need some time management training. We need even take a time management class. Should I text Ria and tell him that we're gonna be one minute late? Get that one to our road if we can see, see a taxi or something, we'll take it. But they must leave with a strong calf, mostly. Mostly contract in your calf, calf de develop everything in our one. Okay, so we recovered a minute. 6.15 run time. You said to get there 6.10, 6.50. 6.10? Yeah. I thought it was 6.20. 6.10, The walking directions is actually accurate. So back up to 6.16. 6.15 anymore. How are you gonna make it? At the end of these steps, it's on that road. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last, the, the last of it. The last one. Let me eat there, please. Give me a second. This is tough. I'm literally sweating. Yeah. Good thing it's not hot. Extra hot there. Oh. oh! Okay, seriously, I can't do it. You have to do it. <laughs> I really can't do it. Just go ahead. Just go ahead. I'll find a way there. Where is it? It's, it's the last set. See? Right here. It's the main road after this. I don't even know where it is. This is not smart. Go. Last set. After this road, down the road I've reached. I'm literally I'm drenched. drenched. Like, so, I don't even want to be around people. Huh? I don't even want to be around people. So, Cause I'm sweating. It's right here.
We had a beautiful dinner last night. Uh, what what the restaurant called? La Chatoria Chatanga. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna have some pronunciation issues in this video because you know the Italian and <laughs> not too Italian. Oh, La Chatoria Tagaliata. La Toria. Wait, let's check it. Chatoria La Tagaliata. Yes, it was a beautiful sunset. We got there at the right time. Today is a very big day. It's pretty cool. What a dream! Today is a big day because today we're going on a boat. Boat day! We are looking forward to that a lot. The thing with boat days is that want I can't swim. <laughs> I cannot swim, so how much can I enjoy a boat there? You want the fall? Yes. No case. And another, another big thing about boat days. Oh, <laughs> another big thing about boat days is that you cannot be late for the boat because if you're late for the boat on a boat day, <laughs> there's no boat there because you'll be left behind. <laughs> Sucks to be beat. <laughs> nah, I'm maybe they don't have life jackets. Yeah, maybe they have life jackets. We'll see. Everybody having a good time except me. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. I'm having a good time watching. Oh, that was a good one. That's a life guard. Daddy in. Simone, are you going in? Are you jumping in? Oh, my hair. Oh. Black girl's problem. Black girl. Black girl's problem. I'll walk in. <laughs> no, you look beautiful with your wet hair. Don't even play me. My Half my hair will be curling now, and first thing the other half will be straight. This is Javon. No, I can't do that.
wedding. Congratulations, Rio and Carla. Congratulations. Hi, guys. Oh, and half later. Have I ever told you the story about me and Rio and our relationship? No. Alright, so Rio and I started at Harwick together. February of 2021. It was me, Mateo and Rio. Rio came in from New Zealand. I came in from Jamaica. And Mateo came in from Colombia. Rio and I were roommates for one semester. Our first semester together. Oh. We came in with two bags. <laughs> so we had nothing in our room. Literally, just a sheet and your clothes. When the three of us came in, the team had a rough season the season before. So the coach was punishing them. Okay. Because the coach was punishing them, we would run at 6 a.m. every morning in the cold for one hour. And then play the next hour of football. So mind you, I came from Jamaica where it's warm and this was winter. Hartwick was upstate New York, in the hills, where it snows every single day. Psycho man! What's the smoke? Our experience at Hartwick started off real rough. But the three of us stuck together. We fought through it. Mm -hmm. And we're here today. In Italy for his wedding. In Italy for his wedding. Are you going to drown if I go on your back? No, I'm standing. <laughs> we were the first recruits for our coach. We didn't make it to the tournament any year but our final year. So I kind of feel like his investment was paid off in us taking them or contributing to the team that went to the first NCAA tournament, isn't it? But Rio has always been a very driven guy. That's something I really admire about him. He's very smart, very intelligent. Caroline also went to Hartwick, so it's a Hartwick wedding. Hartwick wedding. We went to school. Uh -huh. Yeah, Caroline was on the lacrosse team. The lacrosse team and the soccer team was always close. We'd hang out with them all the time and we would party with them. And Caroline was always energetic, mm -hmm. very loving and welcoming to me. She always engages me. And you know, I take note of that. Yeah. Because I was in an environment where, you know, not a lot of people like me. <laughs> that was my first impression of her too. Very, very welcoming and energetic. Kind of reminds me of myself, like in terms of the energy. Great yeah. The energy. Same with Rio. Yeah, so exactly. They're perfect together. Yeah, they complement, they complement each, each other. <laughs> so well. Beautiful couple. Exactly. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and we're happy we're able to share this experience with them. Yeah. There's a couple more teammates us here. I'll tell you. Are you going to say hi to my vlog? Uh -huh. <laughs> Jack, Alexandra, Emily's knocked out. <laughs> okay, uh, 30 euros. 30 euros? Yeah. Okay. Okay, perfect. Block for uh, camera 301. I think we're making it on time this time. What is it? Oh, look at him. Huh? Looking all sexy from behind. Really? Here's curling. Yeah. She hasn't put on the heels yet because it's hills, so you can't put on the heels yet. But yeah, look at her Benz taxi. Yeah. Hello, how are you doing? Alberto. Alberto, thank you, Alberto. Alright, here we go. In the taxi, ready to go. We will be there on time. How far is it from here? Uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Perfect. Oh, 
I'm surprised. is not doing well on this trip it's saying I should farm up the sim card and it has all the things that we've recorded for this morning and today's vlog I hope it's good we are here in Capri walking around trying not to design a shades and watch as if we we're gonna buy any. <laughs> yep. I see a nice um brother cheese for about 450. I'm about to go get some heels from Bottega. I wanna Bottega go get it too. Yeah. 450 Prada. I'm about cheers. to buy me a bag, bro. I'm gonna drop a bag on that. Apparently the designers are cheaper here. Oh we going to Chanel. That Prada glasses was like two hundred dollars cheaper. <laughs> All right, let's go in Chanel. Yeah, that's why you should buy. Let's it go here. buy. Let's go buy something in Chanel right now. <laughs> <laughs> go on, Simon. Go buy your Chanel. Thank <laughs> you. Do you think there are the restrictions in flat the Um. <laughs> Something is wrong with you. Hey, babe, these are really good pictures. 
All right, guys. So we are at Augusto Garden. I think I'm saying that right. And so right now we're at the Overlook. Really beautiful. We see that like famous stone thing that everybody takes pictures at. But anyways, we were just walking, and then this beautiful, really nice couple came up to us and asked if we wanted champagne, which was so nice. And so yeah, they gave us champagne for free. Cheers. Champagne for the boys Cheers. and the girl. <laughs> Why did you have to make me this? And the woman. I ain't no girl. I said boy. Girl. <laughs> yeah, you a boy. I'm a woman. Boy. Why are you so close, bro? So <laughs> you need help. <laughs> She's scared of me. sad that we didn't bring a lock. This guy's so cute. What do you think about Capri? I think it's a really cute little island. There's lots of shopping. Um, the garden was really beautiful. We're about to try some food. Um, it's easy to get around too. They have a little bus that goes around everywhere for like two dollars and twenty euros. So you can take cool taxis. Yeah, or you could take a cool limousine. Um, drop top type. What are those things called? Taxi. <laughs> no, but like, what are the drop, drop top convertible taxi. ta <laughs> taxis? So, yeah, that was a cool experience, even though they're kind of pricey. We could have paid two hey, dollars for the bus. They robbed, robbed us. us. I'm gonna ask for the how much is it usually? Because I'm sure it's not 25. Yeah, and we're just like, yeah, sure. No, we should have taken that bus. But... But it was part of the experience, even though it's uh, <laughs> something really. We're coming, coming here for the city garden. That's all we got to see. Yeah, that's all we got to see. But it was still nice just to walk around. We went shopping too. Well, we didn't buy nothing, but we would look to the stores. So. Yeah, so if you guys want anything designer, I think a lot of people know this, but it's cheaper in Europe, no taxes. Obviously, it's literally made in Italy, a lot of designer. Yeah, so we we wanted to get these pair of Prada sunglasses that were fire. Maybe that'll be a birthday gift. It's <laughs> like... Perfect. Love it. Pizza? Ooh, thank you. It smells wonderful. Pizza. We're <laughs> yeah, we're on a pizza diet, guys. Pizza and pasta diet. Oh, so she's nice. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna head back. That's yeah. Ooh, our fair. That's the last. So if we miss this, we're not. We're staying on this island tonight. And we nice. leave early tomorrow morning, so we can't stay on. Oh, I didn't even think about that. It's hot, baby. Maybe we should let it cool down. Wow, it's so good. 
<gasps> Wait, where's the tickets? That would not be good. I hope we get on to this, because if we miss this, we get what the duck get. Is this the line? Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> right. oh. some drone footage but yeah on our way to the airport supposed to meet a guy at 7 15 7 o'clock now get about 10 minutes to fly the drone and Thank you. 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 Thank Shout out to Jack and Emily for getting us into an airport lounge, which is the best. Amex lounge. We need to get that Amex. 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 